Hey guys, I'm Darren. I'm a lifestyle photographer and content creator based in London, UK. I'm going to share with you some quick tips that I use every day to create my content over on Instagram. Today, I'm going to show you step-by-step step how easy it is to create a moving photo using Adobe Premiere Pro. Here's what we're going to create today. So a moving photo is basically just a video where only one part of the image is moving on a seamless loop, like you can see here with the bike shadow. So we'll create this by choosing one section as our still image and then we'll punch a hole through to reveal the moving part. So I've got my video file here. I'm just going to drag it into the project window like so. Next, drag your video onto the timeline, which will create a new sequence. The video is imported in a landscape format. So to get this to fit our Instagram feeds correctly, we need to change the dimension. So no worries, we're gonna fix that now. To do this, click on sequence and then select sequence settings. Change the frame size to match Instagram's portrait feed format, which is 1080 by 1350. You'll notice now there's some black borders at the top and the bottom of the clip. Now this is no problem, we can get rid of these easily by resizing. So if you head over to the effect controls panel and just play around with the scale and position sliders like so until you're happy with the framing. Next, we're going to create a top layer that is going to become the still part of our moving photo. So to do this, we're going to duplicate the clip. So hold the option or alt key whilst dragging the clip onto a new track like so. Now we need to find a part of the clip that works best for the still part of the image. So have a quick scan through the footage and just look for a part which you think will create a good still. So for me, this part round about here looks good. So next I'm just gonna right click and then choose add frame hold. So what that actually does is create a still frame from everything to the right of where we just clicked. So we want this entire layer to be a still frame. So we'll delete this moving clip on the left to drag the left edge of the remaining clip across the left to match the length of the bottom clip. And there we go, we've got our finished still layer. To reveal the moving part underneath, we need to punch a hole through the still top frame we've created. So we're gonna do this by creating a mask. Select the top clip, then head over to the effect controls panel and under opacity, click on the pen tool. So we're gonna use this just to draw a mask around the selection that you want to be your moving part. So for this, we're just gonna click really roughly around the wheels. And then once that's done, we're just gonna click on this little inverted checkbox over here. And what that's gonna do is make sure that the part that's selected is the moving part that we want to see through. Right, so on to probably the most crucial step. To find the perfect loop, we're gonna skim around the clip until we find roughly a three second section that looks like it will have a similar start and end point that will loop infinitely. To make the clip loop continuously, we're going to need to set in and out points by pressing I where you want your in point to be and O to set your out point. Yeah. Now to activate this, we need to click on this magic icon here called the loop playback icon. And now you'll see it's just one continuous loop. To amend the in and out points you set before, dead easy. Just drag them around with the handles to fine tune the loop until you're happy that it's looping perfectly. Last up, we're going to need to trim both our remaining clips to the in and out markers by dragging the edges to where the markers are. Don't worry about being too exact here because Premiere's got your back and it's going to snap exactly into place like so. To get everything back to the start of the timeline, click on the empty space to the left of your clip, then press the delete key. Then we're just going to drag the in and out markers back over the clip so that it loops again. To export for Instagram, the clip needs to be over three seconds long. This one's slightly shorter, so I'm just gonna fix this by duplicating it a few times. This is really easy. Just drag the clips to the right whilst holding the Option or Alt key, and then repeat this step until we've exceeded the three second mark on the timeline, which is here. To export, just press Command M, or that's Control M on a PC. Then we just need to select somewhere to save the final video. So just click here where it says Output Name. Choose the location you wanna save the file rename it if you wish, and then just click on export. Once it's exported, just use whatever your preferred way is to get it over to your phone. For me, I just right click, and then I use AirDrop to fire it over to my phone from my MacBook, and then you're done. 
If you want to create your own version of what we just run through, then head over to adobe.com now where you can download the exact files that we used in this tutorial. We've also linked some other similar videos down below. So we'll see you in the next one.